I have been asked time and time again, how do I take my Excel worksheet and highlight a specific row of information or an entire row or record of information with a yellow highlight or some particular color so that I can visually identify that record? Well, I've given enough of these classes, I've decided to go ahead and put together a video tutorial. So there's a couple ways of doing this. We can search for and highlight specific records that have a particular amount or currency or maybe a count amount. And then there's an alternative to this and that is to search for text within your data set. Maybe genre, status, or what have you. So the first thing we want to do is we want to select the entire data set. So I have my active cell as A2. That's the first cell on my data set. I'm going to press shift control arrow key down and it selects the entire column of data. And then I'll press shift control arrow key to the right and now I have my entire data set selected real quick. So next I'm going to click to scroll all the way to the very top. Now I can see this first record or first row, row two on my screen. I'm going to need to reference this in my formula that I'm about to build inside of my conditional formatting. So now I have it selected, my entire data set. I'm going to come here to my home tab and here in the styles group I'm going to click conditional formatting. Down here I'm going to click on new rule. This will open up this new formatting rule dialog box and what I want to do is from my rule types options I'm going to come and choose use a formula to determine which cells to format. Now this is not to be afraid of or scared of <clears throat> it's really quite simple. We're going to type in a very basic formula. Now with my insertion point linking right here I'm going to come over and click on the income earned and when I do the cell reference automatically populates inside here and if we recognize this we'll recognize this as absolute cell referenced. I'm going to press F4 two times so that the column in is absolute reference. That way the formula is going to search vertically down through my entire data set looking for values that might be greater than let's say 5 million. So now column in is absolute referenced and the row is not. So from here I'm going to put in greater than and here's where I want to type in my value. Let's say greater than 5 million. And then I want to format it. So I'll click my format. And let's just use the traditional highlight yellow. Click OK. So now I'm telling this formula, look in my data set in this column in for all values that are greater than 5 million. So if I click OK, Shazam, there it is. Every record in the entire data set that exceeds 5 million is now highlighted. So now I can visually look and see real quick as to which records exceed that income earned that exceeds 5 million. Pretty clever. Well, this is pretty great by itself, but if you stop and think about it, you know, how do I go and back go back and change that value uh, from 5 million to say we want to look for records that are less than 2 million? Well, of course I have to go into that formula again. That's found here in my conditional formatting under manage rules. And then here it is. I want to make sure that up here it says, click this drop down, it says this worksheet. And then this will display for me. I can double click this to open it up. And now if I want to change that value, I just simply click inside here. And let's say we want this to be less than 2 million. And then click OK click OK and now all the records are highlighted that meet that argument, that criteria, less than 2 million. But quite frankly I would never do it this way. I don't want to go in and retype that formula each and every time. So what if we built in some automation on our worksheet? Here's how we can do it. I want to add three blank rows above my table. So I just come over and select rows 1 through 3, right click on there and choose insert and I'll automatically insert three blank rows. So over here I'll type in income earned and over here is where I can type in my criteria. Let's say I'm gonna look for values that are greater than nine million. So if I put in nine million here and then just press enter and I could go so far as to come up and format this as accounting 
and so now it has a nice currency format to it. Well, as I type this, nothing happened, obviously. I haven't associated that formula yet. So here's how I, can, how I can fix that. I'll just simply click inside my data set, come to my conditional formatting and manage my rules. And here it is, I'll double click this. And now I wanna reformat this formula a little bit to read not less than two million or whatever value. I'm gonna select this and backspace. From here I'm gonna say, look at column in that is greater than, and I'll select this cell here. And I'm going to keep that absolute reference and then click OK. And then click OK again. Shazam! Now when I scroll through, everything that I type in here, 9 million, is highlighted. Let's see, there's a couple, yeah, there's a couple records. So now, what if I come back to the beginning here? What if I change that to say 5,500,000? Wow, Shazam! That's pretty convenient, huh? So, that's how we can create a formula that will highlight individual records in a data set. Now, that's all well and good, but what if I want to look for specific text? Maybe it's a genre. Romance, thriller, sci-fi, or so on. Okay, here's how we can fix that. We'd simply modify that formula. And let's say we change this up. Instead of income earned, let's change this to genre, and then press tab. I'll delete that. And then I want to come back to my managing my rules. And notice it has current selection selected. I'll click this and choose this worksheet. Here it is. I'll double click it. I'll type in F5. So that I'm going to look for everything in column F, which is my genre. Now after we put in F5, I need to change the greater than to equals. Because I don't want to use a greater than argument for text. So I'm going to say in this formula now it says search column F within this data set and whatever's inside of cell C2 highlight that record. Click OK. Click OK again. Nothing's there yet so I'm going to type in let's say fantasy and then press enter. Well shazam! Now when I scroll down every record that is fantasy genre is now highlighted in yellow. So let's say if this still works, if I change it from fantasy, let's say I change it to sci-fi. Press enter. Well, shazam. Piece of cake. Thank you, Excel. I'm telling you, this program will do whatever you ask of it, as long as you know how to ask it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial on how to highlight a record within a data set. When you or your group are ready for your professional development training, or for that matter, a migration from one version of Excel to the next, let us know. We'll be happy to come in and teach you all the tricks while helping you migrate. Oh, and one last thing, be sure to share this knowledge with as many people as you can. Take care.